Good morning, everyone. Senior Lancer, Katie Curry Huggard. And it's Wednesday morning. When I woke up, it was 16 degrees. It's now warmed up to about 25 degrees. <laughs> I thought that, that today we could take an opportunity to talk about the differences between white cedar and red cedar. So cedars have these tiny evergreen scale-like leaves on a feathery, feathery spray. Very flattened needles. And the bark is reddish brown, fibrous. There's the red underneath. The cones are small and papery and there's not many, there we go, not that many scales. Also similar to a lot of the evergreens, uh, there is more vitamin C in the needles than in oranges. Um, and this was known to cure ailments like scurvy. So Eastern red cedar likes to grow uh, in old fields and prefers drier soils. It has feathery, scale-like, evergreen foliage, but the needles are definitely thinner and sharper in some cases, especially, and it's not as flat, it's more dimensional, like even uh, the twigs and the branchlets. I had to make sure that this observation wasn't made on a crazy cliffside where this cedar would be growing like a bonsai almost. You can see the bark is very shaggy and peels off really easily. Uh, very easily. If you take some of this and really get it loosened up, This stuff makes excellent tinder. Um, and cedar makes a great fire by friction kit as well. This is the northern white cedar. And this is eastern red cedar. And we got a little side by side. Okay, everybody. That's all for now. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next week.